Uber will merge with Diddy Chushing. Glow Fertility app fixes some security issues. Apple releases some new emoji and latest beta and more. It's Monday, August 1st, and this is Crunch Report. Yo, happy Monday, and let's start it off with a bang. According to both Bloomberg and the Wall Street Journal and confirmed by TechCrunch, Diddy Chushing will gobble up rival Uber China in a merger deal that will value the combined entity in China at $35 billion. The timing is interesting too, since last week the Chinese government released proposed regulations that will make taxi hailing services legal from November 1st. The two companies will retain distinct brands, app, and business operations, and it sounds like the back ends will be merged. Diddy said it will integrate the managerial and technological experience and expertise of the two teams. Diddy's explanation of the financial notes that Uber will be given a 5.89% stake in the newly merged entity with preferential equity that is equal to 17.7% economic interest in Diddy Chushing. Existing Uber China investors, which include China's dominant search firm Baidu, will get 2.3% of the new business. This now means that Diddy is invested in every ride-sharing company of size on the planet, having previously put money into Lyft, Ola in India, and Grab in Southeast Asia. There are now a bunch of apps out there that help a man and a woman get it on all night long to make a baby, like Clue, Kindara, and Natural Cycles. Interestingly, what's been learned is fertility tracking apps have been found so far to be generally inaccurate in a study by researchers. Now what's happened is Consumer Reports investigation has singled out Glow Inc. for serious security and privacy flaws. Consumer Reports team was able to access very personal information including data and comments about users' sex lives, history of miscarriages, abortions, and more through a privacy loophole having to do with the way the app allowed couples to link their accounts and share data. There were also some other privacy issues unearthed. Glow has since made immediate moves to fix the security problems and issued a satisfactory update to their app, with even Max Levchin, chairman of the board, reaching out on Twitter saying, We have corrected the potential issues and there is no evidence to suggest that any Glow HQ data was compromised. Max, thanks for replying to the tweet. Founders learn something from that. Get involved in the dialogue. If a report was about you, I love it. And every story can have multiple voices. So, thumbs up, man. Apple just released the fourth beta for the next iteration of its OS. In particular, there's a groundbreaking addition to this release. The company has updated or redesigned over a hundred emoji. Woohoo! Apple has shared a few of them on its website. The new emoji include a lot of athletic options, a water pistol, and a rainbow flag. If you're a developer, head over to the Mac App Store, the iOS and tvOS settings apps, and the Watch app on your phone to find today's beta updates and get some sweet emojis. I feel like it's time for Money Talk! Technology Crossover Ventures, the VC that has backed the likes of Facebook, Spotify, and LinkedIn, as well as more nascent investments, has closed a fund that will see the company taking many more bets in the near future. TechCrunch has confirmed that it has now closed TCV9, a 2.5 billion fund that it plans to use for growth stage investments. The company's previous fund, TCV8, was for $2.2 billion, with one notable investment exit of Dollar Shave Club reportedly being acquired for $1 billion by Unilever. And that's Money Talk! For your pleasure. Pokevision and other popular third-party tracking apps that help Pokemon Go players discover which Pokemon were nearby and see their locations on a map have been shut down. The move follows comments from Niantic CEO John Hankey last week where he referred to the use of such sites as cheating and hinted that the company was poised to take action against them. In an interview with Forbes, he said, We have priorities right now, but they might find in the future that those things may not work. People are hacking around trying to take data out of our system and that's against our terms of service. Gotta catch him all, but you can't cheat, you have to go on a search, no more tracking apps. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. See you tomorrow.